Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stephen Lee. In this video, I will be teaching you about osteoarthritis. First of all, you have to understand that arthritis is a group of disorders which are involving the inflammation of joint. Let's look at the word itself. Arth means joint. Itis means inflammation. Osteoarthritis is one form of arthritis. There are other types of arthritis, but um, in your level, the most important one will be osteoarthritis. So without further ado, let's get started. In exam, there are a few types of questions that they will be asking. One is the cause of osteoarthritis. Two is the symptoms or the clinical features of osteoarthritis. And thirdly, will be the possible treatment plans for osteoarthritis. So let's talk about the cause of osteoarthritis. Okay, uh, obviously in higher level, we do understand that osteoarthritis uh, has a multifactorial cause. But at your level, there are two main causes of osteoarthritis. One is due to aging, and two is due to obesity. And the reason is because these, both of these will deplete the synovial fluid production and also reduce the cartilage at the end of the bones. We call this as excessive wear and tear of cartilage. So both synovial fluid and cartilage are important structures to reduce friction between the bones during movement. As the synovial fluid production is lesser and the cartilage is more depleted, the friction between the bones will increase during movement. And thus, this will lead to inflammation of joint. So, let's look at the formation of osteoarthritis again. We have uh, aging and obesity, which lead to an excessive wear and tear of cartilage, as well as a reduction in synovial fluid production. This will increase the friction between the bone steering movement, hence lead to inflammation of joints. Can you see? There are four layers over here. Okay, so now we'll be talking about the clinical features or the symptoms of osteoarthritis. At your level, remember, there are three main symptoms of osteoarthritis. Firstly, the patient will complain of pain, painful joints, okay? And uh, secondly, the patient will also complain of uh, stiffness, which means the patient will find it difficult to move the joint and the range of movement of the joint will actually reduce. And thirdly, the joint will also be swollen. Just an extra information for you, uh, the main thing that helps us to differentiate osteoarthritis with different arthritis is uh, osteoarthritis commonly affect the weight-bearing joints and uh, they are also most of the time symmetrical, which means they happen on both sides and it mainly affects more advanced age patients. Okay, so now you know the formation and also the clinical features of osteoarthritis, let's talk about some possible treatment plans of osteoarthritis. So firstly, we do want to tackle the cause, the root cause of osteoarthritis. There's no way to reverse aging, okay? But we do have some solutions for obesity, okay? Of course, we can promote exercising, promote balanced diet. So if all these fail to improve the weight of the patient, we can do uh, what we call as a bariatric surgery, which is a, a procedure or a surgery to reduce the volume of the stomach so that the patient will have a lesser appetite and eat lesser. So at your level, um, they also call this as a gastric bypass surgery. Next, let's talk about some measures that we use to control the symptoms of the patient. For pain, we can prescribe the patients with uh, analgesics, which means painkillers. The most common form of painkillers will be paracetamol or Panadol. Of course, we do have other analgesics, but at a level, which is the same, we do prescribe analgesics for the patient. Secondly, we can offer the patient with physiotherapy 
The aim is obviously to increase the range of motions, reduce the stiffness of joints, as well as uh, improving muscle strength. Thirdly, we can also prescribe some uh, intra-articular injections in which we inject either gel or steroids into the joint. Okay, so this helps to reduce inflammation in the joint too. At your level, they do talk about a supplement called glucosamine. Okay, XM Scheme likes this answer. But uh, a lot of research paper does mention that glucosamine actually has no beneficial effect in the treatment of osteoarthritis. Last but not least, if all the measures that I mentioned earlier uh, were not effective in managing osteoarthritis, we can actually choose to do joint replacement, in which we will replace the damaged joint with an artificial joint, okay, that is mostly made of a metal. I hope that from this video, you know the cause, the clinical features, and the treatments of osteoarthritis. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel and we post the weekly biology-related videos. I'm Dr. Stephen Lee. Thank you so much. I'll see you again.